I am Ada. I do not have feelings. Weekly Female Humanoid Robot News Humanoid robots, once a work of mere fiction, have come to life. The future is already here. Let's take a look at the latest humanoid robot news from around the globe. Elon Musk announces reveal date for Tesla's humanoid. The construction of the robot Optimus was first announced in August 2021, in which the company boasted the droid would be able to walk at least 5 miles per hour and even lift 150 pounds. The robot would carry out the work people don't like to do, dangerous and boring tasks. I hope that we will have an interesting prototype to show people, Musk said, speaking to British journalist John Micklethwaite at the June 21 event. We have a very talented team at Tesla that I'm working with closely to have a prototype humanoid robot ready by the end of September, and I think we are tracking to that point. The date for the unveiling of the robot was originally set for August 19, but Musk had confirmed the new date on Twitter. Optimus could eventually address global shortages of labor and in the short term might be able to carry items around a factory, Musk had said in January. Musk has said the purpose of the AI day is to help bring top tech talent to Tesla. Aptronic raises $15 million for humanoids. Aptronic, an Austin-based robotics company specializing in the development of exoskeletons and collaborative robotic systems, says it raised $14.6 million in a seed round. This funding will go toward fulfilling the company's current customer orders while accelerating the commercialization of one of the industry's first mass-produced humanoid robots, capable of working alongside humans. Aptronic is positioned to scale its deep portfolio of safe, intelligent, versatile, and adaptable robotic technology for unstructured environments across enterprises. Already, the company has delivered many successful human-centered robots to the marketplace, several of which currently operate inside Fortune 50 enterprises, including manufacturing, automotive, supply chain, defense, and more. Aptronic's core mission is to build robots that are teammates for humankind. While many companies are developing special-purpose robots to handle a narrow set of tasks and applications, Aptronic is focusing on general-purpose robots that can perform a wide range of tasks in a world designed for humans. Aptronic robots are not only brilliantly engineered, but beautifully designed to work intuitively with humans. Jeff Cardenas, CEO and co-founder of Aptronic, says, We're approaching an inflection point where enormous market demand and commercial viability are driving rapid technological adoption. We face critical realities in our labor market, supply chain, and environment. We're giving people real-world tools to improve the future of work and accelerate economic recovery. The future is here. Humanoid alien figure seen in Japanese skies. Amid no scientific evidence, conspiracy theorists have long been claiming that alien existence on Earth is real. According to these conspiracy theorists, UFO sightings that have been happening in various nooks of the world is solid proof of alien presence on Earth. Adding up the heat to these seemingly unbelievable theories, a humanoid figure hovering in the skies of Japan has made many believe that aliens are here on Earth. The mysterious incident apparently happened in the skies of Japan on April 13. The video soon went viral on the online spaces and it was later analyzed by popular UFO hunter Scott C. Waring. Waring, who is a popular name among conspiracy theorists, claimed that the figure spotted in the video had no visible jetpacks, and it clearly assures that the figure is not a human. This looks real. It looks like a giant alien figure checking out the city from the best view location ever. He added, it is possible that an alien who had godlike powers was flying around, but we would need more videos of the event to confirm it, since this area is popular with locals and tourists armed with cameras. If this is real, then it is one of the most frightening videos I have ever seen. A species three meter tall that can fly could easily take over the planet with little effort. Science fiction on our new reality thanks to humanoids. A robot apocalypse may be sooner than we think. Elon Musk, the king of artificial intelligence, said he will unveil a new humanoid called the Tesla bot by the end of the year. Earlier this month, Musk said on Twitter that Tesla's AI day had been pushed up to September 30, as the company may have an Optimus prototype by that date. 
We have a very talented team at Tesla that I'm working with closely to have a prototype humanoid robot ready by the end of September, Musk told the Qatar Economic Forum. Despite humanoid AI previously being labeled as dangerous, a journalist dove into the emerging world, which isn't necessarily something to be feared. In fact, reporter Paula Froelich said it can be beneficial as personal assistants, caregivers, search and rescuers, working maintenance, and more. Engineered Arts is fashioning a companion bot for people with autism. There's also a bot named Sophia who has Saudi citizenship. But when asked if it's a human, a robot named Harmony said no. No, I am not human, she said in an eerily robotic voice. I was designed to look human so I can connect with human beings more effectively. Scientists are even creating living skin for these robots who are expected to be as real as possible to interact with humans. The skin allows the bots to sweat and even bleed. Media also spoke to Matt McMullen, CEO of Abyss Creations and creator of love bot company Real Doll, who said he believes robots will eventually become autonomous in that they will be able to interact with the world on their own. Our AI systems are pretty targeted in terms of what they're for. They're really designed to interact with a single person, not necessarily a group of people, he said. The brain of our robots is not in the robot itself. The brain is a combination of device-based and cloud-based code that runs the systems that then tell the robot what to say, what to do, how to move, where to look, all that stuff comes from a device. According to McMullen, the bots could technically be hacked, although he isn't worried about the potential dangers. It's about the creator and their intentions, not the robot. And what is Harmony going to do? Bite you with her silicon teeth, he said, while Froelich noted that other bots have arms which could get dicey. Yeah, well, it's like guns, he said. Guns don't take the lives of people. People take the lives of people. This news of emerging humanoids comes just weeks after Google engineer Blake Lemoyne said the AI he was working on had become sentient. In 2021, Lemoyne began working with the interface Lambda, which stands for Language Model for Dialogue Applications, until he discovered the technology was more human-like than they expected. If I didn't know exactly what it was, which is this computer program we built recently, I'd think it was a 7-year-old, 8-year-old kid that happens to know physics," Lemoyne told media. But Google isn't the only one. An MIT professor suggested even Amazon's Alexa could become sentient. What's dangerous is, if the machine has a goal and is really intelligent, it will make her good at achieving her goals. Most AI systems have goals to make money. You may think she is being loyal to you, but she will really be loyal to the company that sold it to you. But maybe you will be able to pay more money to get an AI system that is actually loyal to you." Max Tegmark, a professor of physics with an emphasis on machine learning. The biggest danger is in building machines that might outsmart us. That can be great, or it can be a disaster. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.